This is easily one of the worst questions I've ever heard in my life, guys. What if space was filled with air? Bro, I think we would probably have one two thousandths of a second to exist, period. And for a couple of reasons here, guys, think about this here. The only thing really buffering the sun and us in terms of temperature is the fact that space sits at almost absolute zero, guys. So if we were to put air there, air can be heated, okay? <laughs> okay, air's gonna be heated. So I'm gonna go ahead and give us, again, one two thousandths of a second to exist, right? Before everything in terms of like satellites and other space objects start, start flying down to earth at rapid speeds personally. And if they are able to stay, they will need to be altered because again, now they're just flying through air. All right. Like they don't have the, the benefit of everything it already has currently guys. Um, also, I think the screaming of the sun would also make the entire planet death, right? For example, so sun, the sun itself makes noise, obviously, right? And the only thing, again, blocking the noise is the fact that space is a vacuum, right? And sound overall needs like a medium to attach to in order to, for us to hear it, right? Uh, so I guess another benefit would be long range communications if it's close enough, potentially, guys. But again, the, the volume that that would need to be at would make us all deaf in, again, a couple of moments, I would, I would think, guys. And that's after, uh, guys, we still haven't made it to one second alive yet. I'm telling you, we're not gonna make it. All right, I'm trying to think of every everything humanly possible that <laughs> that could make this make sense. Um, the benefit of breathable air, uh, sure, but again, that air is gonna be hot, right? I mean, you're not gonna make it. I'm, I don't mean to be, I don't, guys, I don't mean to be doom and gloom, but, I think the overall idea of it sounds amazing if it could work in a way that we could only dream that it would work. But I think theoretically it would be absolutely abysmal for our species, <laughs> guys, right? Let's think about this here, guys. As the Earth is spinning, right? And certain parts of the Earth are dark and night, well, day and night, right? That entire border that's shifting around the planet, guys, that turns our day and night cycle, on that border of dark and light are going to be constant tornadoes, hurricanes, just natural disasters obliterating us from the cool, dark air, right? That's out of the sun to the super warm air that's in the sun. Just tornadoes consistently. Guys, we're not going to make it again. I'm sorry. I keep trying to come up with reasons. How could we make it? I don't think we live, but either way, let's go and check this out, guys. The name of the channel is uh, What If. The name of the video is What If Space Was Filled With Air. Suggestion via a donation, guys. Um, let's check it out. <laughs> let's go. You're out for a routine spacewalk. Suddenly, your helmet comes loose. But instead of suffocating, you breathe in fresh cosmic air. How far reaching would this space atmosphere be? Why would space suddenly become so loud? Air. And could this lead to the destruction of the whole solar system? Yes. And why didn't we think of that? But yes, it definitely would. Because imagine if we got air where other. Oh no, this would be bad, bro. I think things are going to start moving in ways that they probably weren't moving before, guys. All right. There are going to be some planets that are that are going to be and moons that are going to be crashing into other planets, bro. And we're going to see that. Well, we're not going to. Well, how about this? We may see that in the night sky, you know, in our one second of being alive, guys, maybe. Right. Um, but yeah, space would be absolutely disgustingly loud, disgustingly loud. This is what if. And here's what would happen if outer space was breathable. The atmosphere oh. you breathe here on Earth consists wait. of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases. It's that molecular oxygen that is essential for life. Right. Molecular oxygen is rare beyond the 10,000 kilometers that the atmosphere extends above the Earth's surface. 
In space, oxygen atoms bind with space dust. They react with hydrogen atoms and create water ice instead of molecular oxygen. But what if we could find breathable air all the way to the edges of the heliosphere? That's the boundary where the sun's gravity is no longer as strong as that of other stars. Would an expansive atmosphere mean you? Like you see all these, this, these pretty nebulae, guys. They're not going to exist. You could travel. They look like clouds. It's going to dissipate. Travel anywhere in space and breathe like you do here on Earth. Wait, you're about to explore this breathable universe, and that's what you're wearing? Come on, let's step up your style and check in with the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. <laughs> I feel offended. I feel offended. Let's go. True Classic is the premium brand for essential tees, activewear, and almost everything else you want or need. Well, check it out for yourself. And almost everything else you want or need. Well, check it out for yourself. Thanks to their True Fit custom sizing system, their clothes hug you in all the right places, regardless of your size or shape. And their website is amazing. You'll find dozens of color comp and entire promo code order now because True Classic. That's that's his code, guys. Tees.com. This is the fresh air. There would be some other big changes you'd hear of. You'd now be able to listen to the sun and the other no. planets. Oh my god, not the sun, bro. Not please, not the sun. In the vacuum of space, sound can't travel. That's because there are too few molecules between the planets and the stars to carry the vibrating sound waves. But in this new space atmosphere, those sound waves could travel great distances. So you'd be able to hear everything loud and clear. The sun for the one second is constantly vibrating at different frequencies. It would be so loud that it would seem deafening. Even yeah, considering the great yeah. distance between our star and the Earth's surface. Guys, I've heard videos of the sun, right? Like I've heard, I've heard the sound the sun makes. Uh, in within videos, right? And I can tell you right now, it will it's gonna drive you crazy, bro. And I and I never wanted to hear that sound again, like the sound of celestial bodies, guys. That's a no. We all they all make noise. And, uh, yeah. It would still reach your ears at a volume of 125 decibels. Imagine going about your daily routine to a soundtrack similar to church bells. Only it would be as loud as thousands of police sirens. This would be annoying, but it wouldn't be your biggest problem. Bro, the sun, the air between the sun and us will be heated through a process called convection. Oh, God. That makes it worse. This is too, but my okay, this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. Yeah, you bro. Yo, l listen, guys. May not it may not even be, it may not even be one two thousands. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're, we're gonna be alive for one five hundredth of a second. No, 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 no. I, I gave us a little bit more time. Um, no, l one eight thousandth of a second. That's it, max. Team of space. There's no friction. That means all the planets and moons right, no orbit drag or the friction. sun without right. losing speed. Or at least losing it very, very slowly. Right. But now, with outer space filled with air, all the planets would be slamming into air particles at very high speeds. The Earth would experience the same fate as the asteroids that enter our planet's atmosphere. The friction causes them to heat up and burn. So, with the Earth currently orbiting the Sun at a velocity of 30 kilometers per second, all that friction would leave us with nothing more than scorched surfaces. Right. And this would be far from the end of the chaos. Eventually, the Moon would slow to a complete stop. 
Yeah, then Earth's gravity would pull the moon closer and that would result in a devastating collision. If you survived through the scorched Earth, Bro, why are you even talking about survival? We are, we have been gone. This crash we, would be the end have, for the whole planet. We have been gone. It would tear the Earth apart. Right. The rest of the solar system wouldn't fare much better. No. With so much air in it, it'll, it'll just our be the solar sun. system could turn into a black hole. This is because all this air would have mass. And with the radius of the heliosphere spanning 90 astronomical units, that's a lot of mass. Yeah, about 5 billion times more than the sun itself. So if the sun's gravitational pull made all this mass compress toward it, the solar system would become increasingly dense. If all that air compressed into a space about 80% of the Earth's diameter, you'd witness the creation of a... We're not witnessing nothing, guys. <laughs> we're not. Black hole. I mean, if you were still alive at that okay, point. Okay, that's not... That's happening. unlikely. Right. That black hole we're would gone. be about 1,200 times more massive than the supermassive black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. Okay, at this point... Allegedly. Point you and I would be long gone, and it might be for the best because yeah, it looks like these two gravitational monsters are about to collide. But that's a story for another. What if? Right. Well, uh, listen. I love theorizing about things like this, but I absolutely never want to encounter any of these questions. I think the question, you know, it's, it's a great like, uh, like thought experiment, right? I mean, it's like a, a brain exercise. It's cool, right? But um, this is, well, I guess we wouldn't even know, right? Um, it's like sudden implosion at depths, guys. I mean, you don't feel anything. You're, you're just gone, right? It's like that, I think, you know, because it's going to happen like your demise would happen so fast that your body and brain doesn't even have a, a chance to even recognize anything that's happening. I guess this is if you had a choice to if, you know, how you had to go. I think this would probably be the best way to go, but everyone else is going to go also. So I guess that's fine then, <laughs> I guess. Right. Um, but all right, listen to, let me know what I should be checking out next, guys. And uh, yeah, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.